Hey guys, this is Rich from Rich TV Live, and we have some breaking news. Green Growth Brands solidifies Nevada market position with award of seven, that's right, seven additional cannabis licenses. Now remember, Rich TV Live is strictly for education and entertainment purposes. Always do your due diligence, always do your research before you invest in anything that we talk about here in Rich TV Live. Get all the breaking news, stock information, and holler at your boy and follow your boy on all of our social media platforms. We are blowing up and growing so quickly. Now, what do you think about this news? Green Growth Brands, you can go to their website, greengrowthbrands.com. Look at all of the information for investors there. Back the only portfolio of cannabis brands with the expertise and consumer focus to create loyal communities of customers. This is a company that is blowing up. Our founding partners and retail management team have the most retail experience compared to any other cannabis company in the world. We've helped to build and lead retail brands that have performed in the top 5% of an extremely competitive retail industry. And if we go over to investing.com, I want to show you what their opinions are on this stock. So we're going to go to, oh, let's go to, GGB. Exanthic Biopharma Inc. You'll see it pop up as that. And there it is, currently up 3.82% on this news at $2.99. And you can see that it has really done well. Look at this, it has exploded up since I've been talking to you guys. It has exploded up dramatically and it has done extremely well. Look at this, the five minute chart says buy, the 15 minute chart is a buy, the hourly chart is a buy for the moving averages, a sell on the technical indicators, a neutral on the summary. The daily chart is a buy, strong sell on the technical indicators, and neutral on the summary. The monthly is a buy for the moving averages, strong buy for the technical indicators, and strong buy on the summary. Now let's get back to the news of the day. So this news just broke, and Zantic Biopharma, Green Growth Brands, GGB on the Canadian Securities Exchange or the company today announced that the Nevada Department of Taxation has awarded it seven, that's right, seven retail cannabis dispensary licenses to operate in the state. Through this expansion, GG, G, 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 GGB has positioned itself to become one of the largest cannabis operations in Nevada. Get to know Green Growth Brands, one of the largest in Nevada. Peter Horvath, CEO, our presence in Nevada has been strategic from the start. With 3 million residents and 42 million annual visitors, this is a market like no other, which is why we chose Nevada as the first state where we will present the full expression of our brands, products, and services. At maturity, we see Nevada as a consumer market that represents USD 150 to 250 million in revenue potential to GGB with 10 or more dispensaries across multiple brand formats. That is enormous. What do you think about this news? Please, if you like this, smash the like button, comment down below. Do you have GGB on your watch list? Do you own this stock? Do you think about, are you thinking about buying this stock? Another company that is focused in Nevada, and you heard it first from your boy Rich. We continue to impress with the regulatory process in Nevada and feel that these new licenses reflect the confidence officials have in green growth brands and our ability to operate high quality and compliant dispensaries, continued Horvath. With the award of seven licenses yesterday, we are accelerating our timeline to realize the full market potential in Nevada. It goes without saying that this degree of organic growth, license awards versus merger and acquisition activity, enhances our financial models for achieving growth in both revenue and shareholder value. I love this. What do you think about this, Shared Horvath? GGB currently operates the premier cannabis store, the Plus Source in Las Vegas, Nevada, 
and a grow and production facility in Post, Nevada. Uh, both green growth brands. Green growth brands expects to dominate the cannabis and CBD market with a portfolio. Did you say CBD? You know your boy loves CBDs. <laughs> with a portfolio of emotion-driven brands that people love, led by Peter Horvath, the GGB team is full of retail and consumer-packed good experts with decades of experience building successful brands. Join the movement at greengrowthbrands.com. And this is the website here. And if we just click on overview, I want you really to see what this company is all about. These guys are on fire. You can download the investor presentation right on their website. Everything is there. Greengrowthbrands.com. Learn about their story. We aim to become the leading cannabis retail company worldwide. I love that. And let's get back. Our outperforming the competition takes the right combination of expertise. Green Growth Brands brings together a collection of retailers, scientists, botanists, developers, artists, and business leaders, all experts in our fields, all with years of hands-on experience. Together, we bring a wealth of experience to product manufacturing and packaging, creating retail opportunities in stores and digital with top-notch store training and distribution, all at speed and scale. This is such a great story, and they're only getting bigger. Love to know what you guys think about this. Let's take a look at this. The news is circulating, and we're bringing it to you first because we bring you everything first. What do you think about this news? I'm going to do more due diligence. I'm going to do more research. I want to learn more about this company, about their team. I want to know what you guys think, okay? Please comment down below. Right here, this is Peter Horvath, the CEO. Peter is a dynamic, creative brand leader, team builder, and specialty retail veteran with deep roots in finance, serving in critical C-level leadership roles for brands like Victoria's Secret, American Eagle Outfitters. This is a proven leader, and he is now leading green growth brands. Peter's unique ability to understand the big picture while never missing the subtle details is a critical factor in Greek growth brand success as the company and our brand's popularity with customers. Under his leadership, shoe retailer DSW went public on the New York Stock Exchange at $1.5 billion with a B. That's right, billion with a B. Now, if we just go and look and do a little bit more due diligence in the company, and let's just say we look at the company and this is tmx.com which is the tsx website you can see that the volume is currently 121,000. it's at two dollars and 99 cents and up 3.82 percent on this news so far today you can see their locations and they're located actually currently in toronto that's where their head office is and take a look at quote. This is how I learn about the companies, guys. It's always important that you learn about the companies that you're researching, that you're investing in. Get to know these companies. Get to date these companies. Know everything about them. Get to know their chart. Get to know their share structure. I like this company. Only 165 million shares issued outstanding. A price around $3. And they've just got seven new licenses. What do you think? This news just broke and you heard it here first from your boy Rich. Thank you for watching. If you're not winning, you're not watching. This is your boy Rich. We bring you the news and we bring you the news first. What do you think? Green Growth Brands Limited, seven new licenses. It's true. I'm going to do some more research. I'm out. Peace. More than a place to gather, it's a way of being. What a great company.